hi friends in the previous video we have seen how to implement component now in this video let's little dive into more about the component let's see some more properties of the component if you observe this template property the HTML content is written over here inside the backtick right so what will happen is if you have a huge amount of HTML content you want to write this will not support IntelliSense also suppose if I am writing one more h1 header tag this is not supporting any IntelliSense too so this will give a tedious job to write all the HTML content for writing for creating buttons for creating forms and other HTML content here so to do that to avoid this problem what we are going to do is we need to place a separate property that is template URL which specifies the path for HTML content. So what we are going to do here now is let's create a file separate file for this for HTML content inside app new file app dot component dot HTML okay let's create this file. So we have created this file now HTML file what we are going to do is we are going to place this HTML content we are going to copy this HTML content okay I have copied the HTML content and I am going to paste here inside app component dot HTML so what is the use of this is if you have a huge HTML content it's not advisable for to populate here always inside the at the red component decorator it's not advisable to write all the HTML content here. So by it writing here, we are specifying path to it. Path to it can be specified by using another property that is template URL. Using this property, we can specify path for that HTML, app.component.html. We are specifying the path here. So we are giving dot slash app.component.html html we are specifying the path for this html content so inside this app.component.html i am placing whatever the html content i want to display on my web page i am placing here so i am specifying the path here now if i run this npm start you can observe the output in the browser See, we got the same output that is hello welcome to angular 8 right so what is another use of writing HTML content in a separate file is this will support IntelliSense too IntelliSense means like whenever you are writing HTML content you need some suggestions provided by Visual Studio code that can be that we can get here but in this case if I are writing inside this template property it will not be available it will not support it okay so if you observe here if I am adding any header or button or anything I will get IntelliSense for creating this right that is another use of using template URL property this property is much more useful compared to normal template by specifying the path here so dot slash will mean from starting from here it's inside app right so inside app app dot component dot html we are placing the file here inside src app we are placing this one and we are specifying this path inside template url property so that at runtime what will happen is the selector that is this will points to the directive that is index dot html see this will be rendered at runtime right test dot test hyphen app will be pointed by selector directive which will replace this html content in the web page it will render and it will display the output in the web page that is by taking from this path app dot component dot html it will go here get the html content and display on the browser that is the task of selector so this is a use of template url property and uh, this is much more simple and easy to use compared to template property so it's widely used so thank you so much for watching this video 
प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल इन ऑर्डर टू वॉच मोर वीडियोस बाय